What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. Let's go ahead and talk about some upcoming Jordan releases that you might want to pick up. First up, we're going to talk about some lifestyle shoes, the Jordan 3 Delta Low. Now we have two colorways in front of us. They both retail for 140 bucks. I think these are pretty nice. The color combinations on them, uh, the quality of materials they use are really good. Very light shoe. You have a lot of cushion. They have the Formula 23 foam, um, which is an extra thing added to the shoe. I would love to know out of the two colorways, which one do you guys like more? Are you guys a fan of the Delta 3s? And if you own any other Jordan Deltas in your collection already, please let us know and give us some true feedback on how they feel and what do you wear them for, for casual wear or for training or anything like that. Of course, give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Next, we have something from Jordan that has a lot of mixed reviews, the Jordan 2 Trace Starfish. Now, this one right here is kind of different. Of course, the quality of the materials look pretty good. Inspired by both the Air Jordan 6 and 7, uh, primary coated in the white crisp with the undertones of the starfish. Um, let me know what you guys think about these overall. Are these trash or are these something you consider? Weight three from a one to 10. They have plenty of colorways and more to come as in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Next up, we have something for the Seattle Seahawk football lovers out there. The Air Jordan 1 Mid Seattle Seahawk. I like the color combination on this mid. I want to see what it looks like in person. Of course, it has the same materials that all mids have, which is about average leather, but the color combination is really what makes this shoe. How many people out there watching this video is a Seattle Seahawks fan? How well will they do? And how much do you guys like these? From a one to 10 scale, give me your thoughts and opinions. Rate these in the comment section below. I think they're pretty fine. If I had to put a number on it, I'd give them a solid seven and a half, eight. I cannot wait to see these in hand. Next on our list is a player exclusive Air Jordan 36 Jason Tatum Mustang retailing for about 200 bucks and it's dropping September 9th so it will be hitting the stores this week. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe. This is based on the inspiration of him loving Mustangs. I like the color combination. I'm, I'm a fan of the fact that it's a majority black shoe with the red and blue hints. You got the icy uh, outsole which is another great touch to the shoe. Let me know if you're somebody out there looking to add this to your collection for hooping or just wearing them in general but i do think they're fire i have to give them a 9 out of 10. on september 15th we have the air jordan 37 dropping for a retail price of 185 of course inspired by the air jordan 7 which we celebrate 30 years of that shoe i was fortunate enough to find these early at dick sporting Group. so we have the new air jordan 37. let me know what you guys think about this colorway and this shoe overall 37s i'm not sure how many people are feeling it 130 on the retail Give me your thoughts if this is a cop or a pass. Next, we have a sneaker I'm pretty impressed with, the Granville Pro. Not sure of the release date, but I do believe it retails for 150. This colorway is pretty fire with the Sail, University Blue, and Obsidian. You cannot go wrong with this lifestyle sneaker. I'm more impressed by the medial side than the profile side, but that's just me. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this shoe, and if this is something that you would consider giving a try, of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Those shoes are interesting and these are two. The Air Jordan 1 Mid Cell and Gray retailing for 125 and it should be hitting your stores within the next few days. They have plenty of Air Jordan 1 Mids that have dropped this year and that are continuing to come out that are fire. And this is one that's not bad. The Cell with the Gray, I think a lot of people would like that. I would love to know your feedback on these Jordan 1 Mids. Of course, the quality is the same pretty much on all of these unless they're an SE. But this one right here, I think a lot of people will gravitate to. Let me know what you guys rate these in the comment section below and if this is something you're going to add to your collection of course it's official to say mids are here to stay now we have the air jordan one zoom comfort khaki colorway retailing for 140 bucks and it should be hitting the stores within the next few weeks i like this color combination olive tinted khaki tone i think the upper with the suede panels and overlays with the leather i like that the dark maroon that's added to the shoe is a nice touch one to ten scale what do you guys think about this colorway and are you guys a fan of the zoom comforts if you own any of your collection tag it or leave a comment and let us know which ones i've seen a lot of them that are nice some better than others nothing that really made me jump on them but they are comfortable i get a lot of good feedback about it so i want to know what you guys think about these i think this color combination if i had to rate it from one to ten is a solid eight and a half nine i would love to see it in person 
Next, we got something new for the ladies out there who like Jordan brand, the Air Jordan 1 High Elevate and the black and white colorway retailing for 140. No set release date on these, they will just pop up at your store. But let me know if you guys are feeling it. You know, the Elevates, the lows didn't do too well, maybe in a few select colorways. Now they're coming with this black Jordan 1 Elevate High for the ladies resembling of the Panda. That's the one reason why I feel like people will gravitate to the shoe. But ladies watching this and guys, give me your opinion on this. Is this ugly, over the top, or could you see people rocking this and you guys approve this shoe? Rate this shoe from a one to 10, of course, in the comment section below. Jumping back over to the Jordan 1 Comfort, we have another one, this one dropping for 150. Kind of a shadow colorway, if you will. I like the materials with that suede or nubuck, and you have that leather on there. This colorway, I think is fire, and I do not think that this one will sit around because of the color blocking. Gives you that shadow vibe, even though they're not calling it the shadow. One to 10 scale, let me know if you got a feeling these comforts or not. Is this something that would make you jump and grab one if you didn't have a pair already? Let me know, of course, your thoughts and opinions. I think I like this comfort much more than the khaki we just talked about because of the color combination, and you can match it with anything for all my jordan one lovers out there or jordan one low lovers out there we have a fire one y'all the air jordan one low new emerald retailing for 115 dropping on september 15th i like this new emerald white and light steel gray kind of has a hyper royal vibe ish to me I know a lot of people will go after this colorway. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I get these a solid 10. I love the color combination on here. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Mid Hologram, dropping on September 14th for a retail of 110. Black, new emerald, university red, and dark concord is the color combination. Now, I believe these might be for grade school because of the pull tab on the back of the mid, but I don't see anything that specifies that. But let me know what you guys think about this holographic situation on the side of the shoe. I'm not really sure if I'm feeling this or not. That's why I feel like these have to be for grade school. But the color combination is not bad. Of course, the black and white, you got the hints of the concord here too. Let me know if you guys are feeling these and just rate this concept from a one to 10. Next, we also have a Jordan 1 low hologram also releasing on the 14th for a retail price of 90 bucks black taxi dark concord and new emerald makes up this color scheme which is slightly different to the mid it does have that holographic vibe on the profile side of the shoe along with the wings on the back of the shoe let me know if you guys are feeling this jordan low or jordan mid hologram if they put these on adult shoes what would you guys think would you guys grab them or not i want to see what these things look like in hand to be honest how well is that hologram these might have a little value to them, you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think about these from a one to 10 scale. I think they're pretty unique. Next, we got some more heat for the ladies out there. The Air Jordan 1 Mid Olive Toe, retailing for 135 bucks, dropping September 2nd. Light olive, cell white and black is the color scheme. The materials they used on here look very good and premium. I'm impressed by this shoe, I cannot wait to see it. And once I get a chance to have it in hand, I will be sharing it on my channel. Let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection or if this is an easy pass, but this shoe gives me fall vibes and Christmas time all day. One to 10 rated in the comments below. Next up, we got the Fire Air Jordan 1 Mid Black Grape dropping in the next few weeks for a retail of 135. Of course, this is like an alternate version of the OG 2013 Black Grape 5. I'm not mad at this color blocking on this mid. I just wanna see what the materials in this leather looks like in person because sometimes the mid material is kinda shaky, baby. I just gotta be honest with you. But this color scheme is looking like it's gonna be nice. One to 10 scale, I would have to give it an eight or a nine. It really just depends on what it looks like in hand. But let me know if this is something you'll be adding to your collection in the comment section below. Next, we got something for hype beasts and golfers alike. The Air Jordan 1 Low Golf Royal Toe retailing for 140, dropping within the next few weeks. Of course, white, game royal, and white is the color scheme as you guys can see. Super banger right here. And if you're on the course with these on, they're definitely turning heads. Let me know if you guys are feeling this shoe or not. I'm loving that the golf is getting this type of love with these different designs and shoes we've been seeing from Air Max to Jordans of all different kinds. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these in the comment section below. So as you can see, we got a lot of heat to look forward to, not just main retros, but other shoes like lows and mids and other lifestyle shoes from Jordan. Let me know what you guys think overall, which shoe you guys looking forward to the most. Rate these in the comment section. Give me all the feedback down below. If you liked the video, of course, smash the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe with notification bells on. It's your boy Bosco Mitchell. I'm about to get out of here. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces.